Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Luton Town up against West Ham United. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Determined defending. And a look at the West Ham 11. Alphonse Areola between the posts. Angelo Ogbonna plays alongside Kurt Zuma in central defence. Lucas Paqueta starts alongside Edison Alvarez in the centre of midfield. And the striker today is Mikel Antonio. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. And options in the centre. Magnificent defending. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, we know he's a top-class player, but at set plays, that's where he's at his very best. And he's got so many techniques, he can hit through the back of the ball, he can wrap his foot round it, or just chip it over the wall. He'll certainly score goals if given the chance today. Mohamed Pudus. Alvarez now. Making sure it didn't get past him. Paqueta. Can he put it away? Pivotal moment defensively. Lord Prowse. He's in with a chance. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Antonio, encouraging move from West Ham. Well, that is how to play advantage. Kudus. Intercepting it intelligently. Adebayo. With the owner of the silver hat with the license plate GR55. It needs an accurate cross. Please contact your nearest security guard. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Still looking to get the shot off. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Antonio. And they know they need to stop him. Oh, could it be Antonio? And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Well, getting very close to the half-time interval, and it's a narrow lead for the visitors to this point. Stuart, how oh, Derek, what a moment this could be. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Corner kick played in. And they deal with the threat this time. Paqueta. Antonio! Oh, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Playing it short. 
Mohamed Kudus. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Kelly Roddick and Panzu. And now passing it through. And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Managers will now deliver their half-time team talk. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Jared Bowen. Now options are plenty. Antonio and blocked for now. Pelly Ruddick and Panzu. Showing a real will to win the ball. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. He just needs to keep a cool head. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Doing well to keep possession. Morris it's with Nakamba a chopping challenge and the referee has got to have a big think about it well it was apparently a bookable offence well no debate over that one it's a yellow card all day long time for a change then Wasn't messing around with the clearance. Can they get in behind them? And space to cross it. Well, play is halted for the time being as the physio goes to work. So play will be restarted by means of a drop ball. Mohamed Kudus. Promising looking attack from West Ham.
Antonio. Adebayo applying vigorous pressure. Antonio. Oh, a nice looking pass. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Here it is now, a substitution. And over comes the corner. And cleared off the line. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, here it is again. And when you clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. They don't do that. It's a poor clearance. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. So back underway at 3-1. Carlton Morris. Mbanzu. Barkley. Just the challenge that was required. So on the cusp of the final whistle, and the visitor is very much in command, Stuart. Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward, and they've shown a lot of energy. They'll certainly be pleased with their overall display up to now. Well, foul play, says the referee. And showing fine vision. Well read to ease the pressure. And just five minutes remaining. Gives it a go. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Antonio. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Nicely timed tackle. Carlton Morris. And that will do it. The referee's whistle indicating that it's the end of the game and West Ham get the victory. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all...